Hello there. Um, first of all, sorry for the bad quality when I'm filming this on my phone. Uh, I thought I'd do an update. It's not a wincast because I've stopped doing them. All right. Um, but I thought it might be interesting what's been happening in Wayne's world um, the last God knows how long. Yeah. Um, as you notice, I'm not in England at the moment or Scotland. Uh, I'm in Canada. Right. I'm in Montreal. Because I've just started as a lead lighting artist at MPC, working on films and stuff. Now, I can't tell you anything about the films or anything I'm doing at all. And I, neither can I. I won't. It's just part of the deal, right? And anybody who works in the industry knows that this is the case, right? This is how you do it. You just don't talk about it. And it's also another reason why it's pointless doing any video blogs because the majority of interesting things that happen in some way, shape or form can uh, revolve around work. You know, maybe people from work or something like that, so I can't talk about it. <coughs> and it's no good me just rattling on and moaning like a, an old bastard, you know. Um, and stuff like that, so th there's no reason to do them. But I thought I'd do just a one-off one. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the, the view of my current apartment, because I've run a temporary one at the moment, which is quite nice, you know. So I'll get a look at every morning and night and uh, my mate Steve says that looks like the Oscorp building over there and it sort of does right we'll sit over here where there's a bit more light um, even more so that on the terrace downstairs there's a, uh, a, a skanky green pool it's full of green gunk right where I go for a cigarette um, and I'm convinced that one of these days there's going to be like a green demon come out of this fucking thing but I'm, I should be moving into my, um, my proper apartment um, next, well, this Friday coming. Uh, it's Sunday night at the moment, it's not far from midnight. And I just thought, well, oh, let's fuck it, I'll do one of these before I go to bed. Um, it's, you know, but my initial reactions in Montreal is I like the place, it's a lovely place. Right? Um, and I've really sort of, I've taken to it. It was odd, it always is, it, it takes about a month or two when you move somewhere to um, get used to the place right it took me that in Dublin when I was in Dublin it took us a couple of months same with Edinburgh it took me about a month two months uh, and it's like, like I was out last night on my own right I'm used to going out on my own drinking in strange places around the world now and I don't have a problem with it it's like some people don't really either like doing it or don't feel able to do it. I, I do, and so I don't have a problem with it. And I'm, I would love people watching. So to me, it's great to just sit there and just watch people from a different country, right? Um, now, what else have I been doing? Well, um, you might have noticed a couple of videos have been up, but uh, I've done a lot of paintings, a lot of paintings. The reason why um, I started doing paintings again was initially I did one up with Dad for his birthday, his seventieth birthday last year at the end of May, um, and I got bug, painting bug again for 20 years, besides I work that often, everything you do is digital, right, and there's nothing physical left, if I was, you know, run over by a bus or a plane, smashed through that window now, right, there would have been nothing physical left behind that I created, uh, apart from a few paintings and things like that, and pen and ink things that I did at St. Mother's, but, um, and I thought, well that's not right. You know, um, and it, it sort of changed, you know, me quite a bit. So I've, I'll, I've learned the piano since then, you've seen bits and pieces of that. Um, I've learned the mandolin, it didn't take us very long because um, the way I do it is I stack the knowledge up on top of other knowledge. I play a lot of instruments so it's easier the more you play. So really it's like um, not too dissimilar to the guitar but with a completely different tuning. Um, and whereas it's like, it's like a guitar neck but the wrong way around and the thin strings are the thick strings are the thick strings are the thin strings it's almost a violin tuning right um, and I was crap with the violin one of the few instruments I can't do but um, yeah it's been a, a year of changes you know I, I finished things up at uh, Rockstar I had a lot of personal stuff going you know my personal life that needed my attention and um, so I, I left my job there and I spent six months in my hometown sorting things out and you know, and to be honest, I haven't enjoyed myself, right? Because I've, I've, I've worked away a lot, 
and it's very rare that I get to spend that amount of time in my hometown. Um, so yeah, I was going out most nights of the week, you know, because now I've started here, I can't do that anymore. There's too much money in, you know, things riding on it. It's an important job and there's lots of things I've, I've got to be nice and behave myself like an adult for once. <clears throat> so when I was in concert, um, I let the 17 year old version of me, who still lived in the back of my head out for six months, um, there's lots of funny stories and stuff like that. Uh, I've started writing again, non 3D stuff, um, under a pen name that's been published. So I've, I've always been good at writing, you know what I mean, and make it interesting. Um, and it's one thing I want to cover that it's weird, you know what I mean, trying to say it, but I suppose it's like, you know, people just sort of notice something. There's not been a lot of 3D output of me outside of work. Um, and the real reason for that is it got to the point where I've worked with that many crazy deadlines and done that much crazy stuff, you know, that had to, you know, uh, the bail-up projects or I come up with ideas and it took that much out of me or pay it creatively that uh, it stopped being fun and it started being just a job. Now, one day, I'm trying to find the right balance here because it's, you know, I hope that, can you see me probably? Yeah, that looks about right. We keep going dark, but uh, yeah, it's just, it stopped being fun. It'll probably come back at some point. But um, I've done this for 20 odd years now, and I've had a bloody good run at it. But the thing is, when you teach people, which I've always done as well as working, right? I've tried to pass on what knowledge I've got when I've been able to. Um, but there comes at a price, right? Everybody who's ever taught somebody knows that the price is this that you're teaching people who one day will be better than you. You're teaching your replacements. And eventually the point, you get to the point where there's people who are better than you that you've taught. And now, the older you get, the, the more of a pain in the arse it gets to keep up. You know, and to be honest, I'm di I'll always keep pushing the envelope. The difference is now, it happens at work, and you wouldn't, you know, you know the people who know about it, um, or people I work with and companies I've worked for, I don't make a big deal out of it anymore. Uh, I don't mention things that I've came up with when I've been working for companies because they own those things now. Um, but there's plenty of these things exist. In a way, that sort of you know, part of me thinks it's sad that some stuff you know never gets seen outside of a company I've worked at. If I come up with something you know, like a, an app or a script or or whatever the fuck or a plugin or whatever. But that's part of the deal, right? And I always do stuff like that when I'm working at firms. It's like, that's just like the free shit they get anyway, you know? Because it's all in my head. So, yeah, it's... So, yeah, 3D stopped being fun. I don't do it to relax anymore. You know, it's... Now, if I sit down with 3D, it feels like I should be clocking in. As I say, one day it'll come back. Um, I know one very well-known artist went through a similar thing. And it was about three years, and then I just clicked back in again. You know. I said, I will be doing some personal stuff for me, but I'm not even sure whether I'd share a lot of it online. You know, there's not a lot of... I don't know. I don't really need to. I don't feel the need to show people everything now. It's... um, I do my paintings, you know. If it, It's all on my blog. The music side, you very rarely um, will come across unless you're either on my Facebook... Or follow me on Twitter, that's it, right? And occasionally, once I've finished an album of music, it'll, you know, I'll put it on my blog and that's it, really, right? It's, um, I, I don't need to fucking promote myself anymore. I'm, I, I got sick of it. I got sick of being perceived as the Wayne Robson character, which is my own fault. I created the character for the Wayne Cast videos because it was entertaining, right? It started as a joke and it got out of fucking hand. And now people assume that I am that character. And it's like one of the first things I ever say to people when I, when I work at a firm is, look, whatever you think you know about me that you've read online or watched on videos, forget the whole fucking lot, because that's not me. You know, especially when it comes to work, I'm very, I'm very serious about what I do. And I'm not too bad at it. You know, I'm like, I think Rob Collins, it's people like that, companies like that. Um, the ones that can cope with that is, because it is actually quite difficult 
coping with my brain if, it, if it's on full flow and pumping out 16 plugins and applications and scripts a bloody day. You know, and that's that's a lot of admin that has to be gone through. So yeah, there's a, it, it comes at a price. Mm. But, uh, I'm a happy where I'm at at the moment. I've got, I'm over here for a year. Um, so I'm restricting my nights out to a Friday and a Saturday. Uh, that's assuming I'm not working some weekends, which I may well be. Yeah, it's all bedtime for me now, so my hands start to shake for some crazy reason. Yeah, yeah, but I'm getting older now, you know. And there's plenty of guys out there that are more than capable of, of filling my shoes, you know, on the 3D side. It's like I'll still, I'm still around. I'm still going to do 3D. I'm just doing it professionally. Um, and if I do some for me. You know, you might see, you might not. I don't know. So, but this, I do actually want to have a mess around with three D Max, like, you know, creation graph stuff. That that does sort of spark my mind off. I want to start some of that stuff again because I haven't done a model for me, a truly like a one I've spent time on for about two three years now. All I ever do when I do stuff for me is like just quick doodles. You know, keep my hand in. So I haven't even got a working tablet over here, right? It's back over in concert. There's only so much gear I can take over. But yeah, so that's the one of the uh, one of the curses of uh, doing more than one thing is uh, it gets to be a pain in the ass to move anywhere. So I've had to leave a lot of my stuff behind. I'm going to rebuy stuff over here eventually. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little midnight chat of mine, um, bringing up the speed on things. I say it's not really a ringcast. It's just me saying, well. This is what I'm doing now. I'm in Montreal. I've worked as lead lighting artist at MPC on films. And uh, that's where I'm at now. So, like, I'm, oh, incidentally, I'm a block and a half away from Autodesk, who I now assume have got the blast doors uh, in operation, knowing that I'm in town and it's very hard to escape me if I'm pissed off. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I wouldn't actually do that. You know, I know people think I would, but I wouldn't know. I know of people who work there anyway that they just get nasty emails or messages on Facebook and stuff. But anyway, right, goodbye, and I'll see you whenever.